I would do great on MasterChef. <laughs> you would do terrible on MasterChef. Creature comforts are back. From a family of foxes having a chat about MasterChef. A nice Caesar salad. <laughs> to a family from Wales who are split over their love of casualty. You don't take like the hospital dramas where I can watch them. And I love the dramas. And even though it's joking, blood, I have to look away. To a doggy day trip for a father and son who absolutely love one programme. Four celebrities from the UK race across the world. <laughs> These are all unscripted conversations with real BBC audiences from across the UK, brought to life in only the way that Ardman can. This is Karen, Wendy and Mark from Wales. With these guys, it was lovely that they all watched TV together, so we kind of thought, you know, hamsters in a living room, in a cage in the corner of a living room, <laughs> watching TV. Plus, it's, uh, it's hilarious that, that hamsters crawl into toilet roll tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness me, yeah. The fact that it's kind of natural conversation, there's no script, so everything kind of evolves, and it's really exciting just seeing it all come together. It's mainly news and sport. That's what I watch on the BBC. But we do like things like the trailers. Yeah, we like the trailers. <laughs> the Ardman team ploughed through hours of interviews to find just 30 seconds for each film, and Rich even acted them out himself to help the animators. I am getting a little bit concerned how many murders Mark is watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real joy working with unscripted stuff because you just don't know what you're going to get and at many times it, it's, it's almost better and especially when you get, get it delivered in such a naturalistic way. Yeah, they're both kind of bond on travelling, it's a common interest. Yeah, it kind of brings us together when we're watching something. Really, you know, you just start picking through it, trying to find themes, but also things that make you laugh. <laughs> oh, goodness me, yeah. The voices that we've, that we've managed to gather are fantastic. They're really lovely, wholesome, warm voices. The first three films launched today with more to come and can be seen online, on TV and in cinemas, with the creature comforts revived for a new generation. <laughs> Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Bristol. <laughs>